here we have the upcoming beta of the new beta. This beta has a recreation and recoding of the VE exposure module, which was very popular, but unfortunately it had some regulatory issues. VE assets now encapsulates the VE exposure, but the VE exposure has been totally rewritten to be compliant in multiple jurisdictions. The VE, uh, the new VE exposure, which is now part of VE assets, contains the public VE assets that are currently in the um, existing beta that's out in production, where you can tokenize things such as metals and um, private equity, I mean, private equity, etc. But we've added several additions. So if you go in, you have now public assets, which is what you have in the current uh, additional iteration of the beta. And you go into public assets, and this is very similar to what we have. Um, we could, um, currently, the beta can create um, tokenized metals on the fly, tokenized private equity, tokenized private debt, etc. But we could go back and we click private assets as well. We authorize. And then once we have gained permission to get into the private, um, private assets configuration, we could create what is essentially an investment fund or hedge fund or private equity fund portfolio. Okay, this is coded in a way to be um, totally compliant with fund law juris with <laughs> private fund jurisdictions um, in most major financial areas, and it also has a. Uh, a portion where you could tokenize not only the fund assets, real assets, digital assets, financial assets, intellectual property assets, etc., but you can also tokenize the actual LP units themselves, okay, or LLC share units if you're in a jurisdiction that uses um, unlimited liability companies or uh, PTYs versus actual um, general partnership and limited partnership units very very slick here let's walk through the recreation of an asset okay here we have tokenized facebook um company assets platinum um fork factory which is a private equity and several tax units so we hit plus you could create a symbol a name um symbol could be let's see uber name Uber Inc. Type metal mortgage real estate. That type is, will be extended to a very, very wide variety of asset types and classes. And we take pick, pick an icon. Okay. Next page, you can add attributes at will. So you can customize it um, ad infinitum, basically. Um, one, two, three, four type text value field etc okay uh, let's add a field text file value etc I'm not going to go through the entire process. So the configuration field uh, or the configuration portion is fairly complex. That complexity allows for um, a lot of flexibility. There's also to be built in default templates. They make it very simple to create a very simple asset and then build on it as you go. Um, there's role based management. So you can have your analysts contribute to the asset creation your accountants, your lawyers, and your financial engineers. Um, each is assigned a role and each can contribute their portion and all additions, changes, um, and uh, templates that are made are attributed to that particular um, administrator or manager. Okay, this is a very, very powerful system. Once the asset is created, okay, 
the, sub, the smart contract is created and then it is put into the system as a VE asset. Okay. Afterwards, you create uh, the asset that could be sold to the fund manager portion. The fund manager portion is what creates the tokenized or tokenization of the actual LPs. Um, we were planning on having this released in June. It is now late July. Apparently, we are a little behind schedule. We are looking for a very, very rapid release, though. Um, we are also creating the legal structures that allow this to be functional in multiple jurisdictions. I'm not naming those jurisdictions yet, but they are global. Okay. Uh, Veritasium's Vader is, again, from my opinion and perspective, the most powerful public blockchain application I've ever seen. Expect this to come sometime, hopefully very soon. In closing, I'd like to uh, mention the flexibility that this customized public blockchain software can have when used in conjunction with the properly formed uh, and legally engineered uh, legal structures. You have basically a hedge fund or private equity fund that has the liquidity and transferability of basically a, a mutual fund or an ETF. The LP units, which normally in a hedge fund or private equity fund, um, feature of five to 15 year lockups, um, will still have a lockup of maybe five years, which is actually very, very, very low, okay? But those LP units are transferable, right, within our wall garden, which means you can sell or buy the LP units and you can exit the fund near immediately, not immediately. You can also take an in-kind distribution of the uh, assets of which your LP unit represents, which means that um, you do not have to last for the full five-year lockout uh, on a monthly basis. You could take your assets and run. Not your money and run, but your assets and run. Okay? So the ability to buy and sell LP units freely, okay, not necessarily on an exchange, but um, back and forth through, or uh, back and forth to and from entities that have passed by AML and KYC and business conflict tests, combined with the ability to take an in-kind distribution means that you have untold amounts of flexibility and liquidity in reference or in comparison to the traditional hedge fund or private equity fund. Okay, and the business models that we have for the tokenized assets are, you know, outrageous, unheard of. Here's a hint. We will not be dealing with crypto um, exchanges. Right? All assets will go through fully regulated national exchanges. Okay, which means exchanges um, that are securities exchanges with their own securities regulators. Okay, um, and traded through API data feeds and tickers available through the traditional channels such as. Bloomberg, what is S&P? So we take a tokenized asset, you type in a ticker symbol on Bloomberg, and it comes right up right next to Facebook, Google, IBM, and Walmart. This is the future, okay? And the future is here, I would like to say now, but very quickly. We actually want to launch this in June, but of course, nothing ever goes the way we anticipate it. But uh, very, very, very soon, I've learned now not to give actual uh, time frames because things happen that with are beyond our control to bust that particular milestone date. So very very soon, while the sun is still shining, there's a hint there. Au revoir.